Hello everyone. Today I got my auto ship for uh, Diamond Press Nesting Slimline Valentine's uh, Kit. And I'll go through the kit to show you what's in it on the auto ship. And then I'm going to show you how I uh, put mine on magnet sheets and store them. So when you get the kit, you'll get your instructions with everything that's on and these have stencils and dies and stamps and this is for that slimline uh, making cards to give you ideas and that for it and I keep these stored in with my folders so the stamps that come with are like us my special valentine's love you're so sweet like you uh a lot a a heart lot just i cannot read that just i'm you i don't think that's right but valentine's hugs and kisses and then the heart the key uh, lots of love oh it's just for you <laughs> and uh, XO Valentine wishes more hearts and then the, the other texture hearts solid heart this one's uh, you make my heart shot smile I adore you and then the arrow happy Valentine's Day Friends, Happy Valentine's in a smaller version, Little Squigglies, uh, Be Mine, and Love. To go with this, there they have the dies, and there's a slim line with the squares that you can change them with the other um, slim lines. And it looks like they have like a banner and the arrow that fits for the stamp and then they have three hearts uh, it seems to be that they're all different sizes this one has like a lace around it and then this has love and I'm pretty sure this is for this love when I turn it upside down it fits in there pretty good perfectly then they they gave you stencils this is a lattice this is lace and it has hearts and everything going on it and roses what says floral and then heart scatter and then they give you the square ones be mine more hearts xo and sweet valentine's along with a cutting plate to use in your Marquise uh, diamond, diamond press cutter with a folder and a label, which I already put my label, I already did the label maker out of it to go. And the size of the slim line From cutting edge to cutting edge is about let's see, maybe eight and like five eighths by three and a little more than three and a quarter and the heart I guess I should measure the heart for you that's two inches from the point down about two inches this little heart is about an inch this is about an inch and a half the arrow is three and a half inches the banner is two little two under uh two and a half 
and the squares are two by twos. Okay, so what I do is I keep these cardboard car, um, carriers and I stick my uh, magnet sheets that I got off of Amazon. I bought a box of them and they have self-adhesive and I just peel everything off because these really stick on and I have problems sometimes getting them loose. So it's easier for me to just take everything off. Move this away. And then what I do is, whoops, because this isn't going to fit in here. I, because I don't know, they start up cutting them really bigger than they're supposed to be. So what I'll do is I will just lay this here and trace it. And then I'll cut it a little bit shorter than it has to be because I want the slide in my folder. And it looks like I'm going to cut it maybe down to six and now I'll go six and three quarters. And then this side, <clears throat> I'm going to cut it down to ten and a quarter. That way this will fit into the folder with no problem. Maybe I should cut it down a little more. Let me cut it down to 10 even. <clears throat> okay, so these sheets that I got, it was a whole box off of Amazon and they have a self-adhesive in the back. And these are five by sevens. So what I'll do is I'll see, you know, how, what I can get on here. And that would be a little bit of overhang. So I play around with them to see the best way without any waste. And I also check to make sure that I can slide it in, which I'm going to have to trim it. So if I do it, I'm going to be piecing it a couple times. So maybe I'm better off just putting it this way and piecing it. Yeah. All right. So I'll just take this and it has like you peel it back and stick them on. And I try not to go to the edge because I don't want it stuck inside my folder that I can't use it neither. And then I go back in the back here and then I trim it. Uh, the magnet sheets are real easy to trim. They're like, they're not really uh, difficult to trim with scissors. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go through my pieces here because I have some that I already have uh, leftover pieces. And see if I can use any. It looks like I'm going to have to cut another one. Yep. Yep. Okay. I don't like wasting it. I like to keep, and I keep my pieces. I don't ever uh, get rid of them. Because I can use them for something, uh, smaller dies to, to keep. And I... Bud these up tight together. And smooth it out. And see I have overhang on both of them, so I'll just trim this down. This one I can't save, I got, because it's on a weird angle. I guess I should have figured it out better with 
saving it. This one I'm going to save, though, because I can just uh, use it later. Okay. So I'm not fussy because when I'm cutting, I end up putting the dies all over the place anyhow. And I just make sure that I can get them all to fit back in the sheet for my carrier. And there's plenty of room. I don't know why they cut the cardboard so big. I wish they would cut them a little bit smaller and put them on. And, but that's that's how I get them on. So um, I keep my my uh, folder, my cutting folder, and I usually put my instructions in here because I have plenty of these. And I keep this as a spare in my packet. And I will put my uh, instructions inside of it. And I will keep these all together along with my stencils and my stamps. I turn them on the other side so I can read it when I go to get them out. And then uh, it's easier that way. Whoops. That little stinker don't want to stay. It's coming up. There we go. This is making a liar out of me to now. Why is this stuck? There we go. I don't know, it's awful tight this time. I thought I cut it small enough. You know what, it might be, wait, I think I cut, nope, see, I cut this crooked. That's what's holding me up. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> Maybe I didn't cut it short enough. No. Nope. Oh, yep, yeah, a lot better. There we go. And that's how I usually do my... Uh, so everything stays on and stays in one spot. And I can look around and see the dies. And this is the way I, I usually store them. Now, uh, later I'll make a card with this to show you it. I like the auto ships, so I want to let you know that this, I like that they would give us these folders. I wish they would give it the folders with all of them and uh, maybe start putting magnets on the folders instead of tape, because it would be so much nicer that we could just take them off without pulling our fingernails off. Well, I would like uh, for you to like and subscribe and I'll continue on my channel and I really appreciate everybody watching. Thank you again. Have a lovely day.